Hey loves, welcome back to my channel, Marissa Anthony. And if you're just coming across this amazing channel for the very first time, coming across this amazing video you're about to watch for the first time, you all are welcome once more to Marissa's Anthony's channel. And in today's video, guys, I will be sharing with you how I was able to uh, rearrange and reorganize my closets where I keep accessories like um, my jewelry. I keep a sanitary pad, glasses, um, body cream, hair cream, hair accessories, and all of that. So, because there are some silly stuff in there that I don't use anymore that I've even forgotten about them. So, I decided to rearrange and bring those things out. So, I took out some things that I don't use anymore. I took them out to trash them. Okay, so what's left? then i will have to rearrange and create space for new ones to go in okay that's it guys so i was dusting out the dirt from the closet and i took everything out and rearranged again so over to the next segment of today which is my makeup um brush and makeup sponge so as a lady out there if you want to wash your makeup sponge and brushes you should use lukewarm water it's advisable you use, you use lukewarm water okay because instead of using cold water use lukewarm water because using cold water will just look like you're wasting your time okay because you will not see results okay guys so this is it this is it this is my makeup sponge It's looking all clean and perfect and like i said if you can also use uh, hot water the case may be if you feel you equal to the task like you won't get hot okay while using the hot water it's advisable too but if you feel you can't use lukewarm water which is preferable so this is the result this is the water from the makeup sponge okay and you guys can see it was really really dirty so as a lady out there you feel your makeup brush and sponge is dirty you should wash it okay it's very very important okay so you don't start um, causing rashes on your face okay while using your makeup brushes okay so it's advisable you wash them once you feel they are very dirty wash your makeup sponge and brushes ladies okay guys so that is it now i'm done with the makeup um sponge okay now over to my makeup brushes so right now this is a silicone i got this from amazon i think two years ago so that is what you use to wash your if your uh, makeup and uh, brush so if you don't have this you can as well use your hand to wash it and find something to scrub it on okay so i've got this and that is what i'm using in this video so like i said i got this thing about two years or a year two years ago if i'm not mistaken because it's been long I, I purchased this from amazon and it's very very helpful and easy so all you have to do is to put a uh, hard soap on your brush the same soap i added to my makeup sponge is the same soap i added to this uh, brush i do i have uh, the cleanser brush but it's only when the dirt on the brushes are not much that is when you can use the cleanser brush but when the dirt on the brushes are much it's advisable you had a uh, liquid soap bath soap on your brush and then you wash with lukewarm water okay guys hope you all understood perfectly and so that's for that so after washing then i skewed out the water from it you guys can see now it's looking all bright and clean so that's for that so i this is the whole process so i have to make sure that i'm done with everything so this is the other brush okay foundation brush so it was time for the foundation brush to be perfectly clean okay so that is it guys so this is me again excusing it out the what the dirty water from the sponge the makeup brush okay guys and then um, please i'll be talking and talking endeavor to like this video if you find it very interesting and useful endeavor to like this video share and subscribe turn on your bell notification for more amazing updates okay so these are my clean tools makeup tools okay my makeup sponge is perfectly clean and my makeup brushes they are all looking clean okay so in order not to start um inviting uh, rashes on your face make sure your brushes are clean your makeup sponge everything are clean so guys over to this last um 
stage of the day last segment okay so that over there i've already arranged everything guys so this is it now it's well arranged and organized so up there is where i keep oil hair and uh, oil so the ones i also made is also on my youtube channel okay so this is where i keep my makeup and all of that and in that other closet where i show you guys before i also put med uh, medicine there as well for kids and adults so where i was putting them before my kids and can easily reach get to it so i had to change position and put them elsewhere so if you have stuff like that at home you should so if you have stuff like that at home you should put them in a safer place where your kids can't reach exactly where i'm keeping mine now where i know their aunts can't reach i put the medicines there and arrange every other thing accordingly okay guys so we've come to the end of today's video do let me know what you think about this video in the comment section down below and share your opinion okay let me know your thoughts your view okay guys and endeavor to hit the subscribe button give it a thumbs up share this video and turn on your bell notification for more interesting videos okay guys for now bye